Gaffy girls. You go, girl. Did I make a cream? Sorry, sorry. My name is Farah. I am an actor, a host, and also a fitness trainer. Okay, so it basically started in secondary school. I was in drama club for four years, and I was also the president. And then that's how I went into mass com. So I graduated from Ni An Poly diploma in mass communication. And upon graduation, I joined this competition in Surya. It was called Elite Surya, and I was the second runner up. So from there, I got the um, opportunities to act and to host, mostly for the Malay channel. But I did get to do uh, one English show for you watch. Okay, I would say that my first big break after Elite Surya was Singapore Alive 3.0. Um, it was a really huge opportunity and I had so much fun. Um, I think it was quite life changing lah. Um, it was obviously a live show and I was doing it alongside two veterans of the industry. It was Fauzi and Shanti. And I think it's one of the most memorable things I've ever done because of like the adrenaline and like me challenging myself. It was in Malay. And at that point, I would say that my Malay wasn't that strong. Um, there was a script, but I was also like in front of the screen, in front of the um, camera alone, and it was I couldn't really refer to the cue card. So, yeah, that was that was quite a challenge, but um, I did it anyway. So. Okay, so apart from the acting and hosting, I'm also a fitness trainer. I work in a gym and we teach strength and cardio classes. I've also started this uh, women-only fitness community. It's called Get Fit Girls or GFG and we are Telegram based. Okay, so as an actor, my goal is to be able to act as a leading role in a show. So, directors, producers, if you're watching this, I'm available. <laughs> and apart from that, um, I also hope to be able to host more, um, be it on TV or, you know, maybe on this channel. I hope to be able to use my skills and grow this brand together with the rest of the girls. Okay, so media related things aside, um, with my fitness, I hope to be able to use my expertise to inspire more women to exercise through GFG and I really want to grow GFG as a brand and start my own fitness line. So that's only possible if more people are supporting me. So if you are a lady watching this, please, um, you can follow us on Instagram. It's at gfg.getfitgals, that is G-A-L-S. Or you can find, find us on Telegram, okay? So support us. Definitely reading. I would identify myself as an avid reader, even though I haven't been reading much, but um, I really grew up around books. I really, really enjoy drinking coffee. Can dr drinking coffee be considered a hobby? So if you ever need any recommendations, let me know because I've been to a lot of cafes and I can really tell you which one is the best. And lastly, I really enjoy trekking. Um, I think that is a good way to get some cardio in and to enjoy the great outdoors, being under the sun. I really like exploring different routes in Singapore and just uh, using that as an opportunity for me to get closer to whichever friend that I'm tracking with. Yeah, because you know, you have like two hour plus and you only have each other to talk to, so yeah. Oh, actually, I should probably initiate something for the girls and I. You know, we can go on like some tracking adventure. Yeah, I think it will be a really good idea because I'm quite excited to see how these girls would react to walking for like over two hours in the sun. So, I think you can look forward to that. I'll make it happen. Okay, so some fun facts about me. Um, I have five elder sisters. So, I am the sixth and I am the youngest girl. Yeah, I don't know. Somehow this fact always like amazes people. Whenever I tell them I have five elder sisters, it's just like, oh, what? And I'm like, yeah, that's my family. So I think that's quite interesting. Um, the second one, I would say that I am really afraid of cats. I don't know why. I think it's probably some like childhood trauma. But when I see a cat like approaching me, I probably go the other direction. I'll probably like run away. 
And lastly, um, oh, I've spent six months overseas on my own in Myanmar. It was for an internship. Okay lah, not on my own lah. I had like a friend, but still, you know, it was quite a quite an interesting experience. Um, I lived in a five star hotel, which I worked at as well. So I don't think I got the whole full Myanmar experience, but I kind of lived my whole, you know, sweet life of Z and Cody, but it's like sweet life of Farah. Yeah. Love Us Forever by Benjamin King. Hands down, that is a song that I am obsessed with right now. I'm pretty sure I heard it on TikTok, but like the moment I heard it, I just felt that it was so good. It was so emotional that like, it's a bop right now. I love it. One day or day one, you decide. Yeah, that's my favorite quote. <laughs> I just think because even though it's just a few words, I think that it's really, really impactful and meaningful. Like, you know, we tend to always procrastinate, but like, that kind of like gives me the motivation to just start. You know, starting somewhere is better than like not starting at all. So I hope that that quote can also inspire you. And um, you know, in terms of anything, be it like fitness or like anything that you want to achieve, just start. So that's it.